Jason Dowdy here, Weicker Realtors Tower Properties. And the question of the week, I've been actually asked this a couple times this week is, hey, if I list my house, can I stay for every one of the showings? It's actually quite a common question. Sometimes sellers have questions, you know, or concerns with their medical getting in and out of the home, or they just don't want to leave their home. Or in some cases they say, hey, I know more about my home than anyone else. Sound familiar? You might be thinking this. Well, here's the thing I want you to think about. Put yourself in the shoes of a buyer. Now you're a buyer going through the house and you're working with your real estate agent. You're walking around. There's a lot of questions you might want to ask that you don't feel comfortable asking in front of the seller, such as, hey, what do you think of this right here? And then the seller butts in and says, well, let me tell you how that went, right? Sometimes when that happens, guess what? It turns the buyer off and they're like, this guy does not know what they're talking about and obviously probably didn't fix it right, okay? So from a seller standpoint, probably not in your best interest to open the mouth. Um, the other thing that I see sometimes is the sellers over talk. They don't know when to be quiet when that other agent's trying to sell their home and help them through the transaction so they kibosh their own sale, okay? Not a good idea to try and talk to the buyer the whole time while they're trying to look at your home. Buyers also like to have the conveniences of being able to open doors, closets, kitchen, refrigerators. They like to be able to snoop, to measure, check out different places and go through rooms multiple times, okay? Whenever I've experienced a showing with a seller present, they are the shortest showings on earth unless the seller decides that they want to talk their ear off. It's never a good idea to have a seller in that situation. Now, sometimes it is handy to have maybe them out in the garage, what have you, but it is a little bit awkward when you got somebody looking over your shoulder when they're looking at buying their greatest asset. So keep that in mind. Whenever you can keep the buyer and the seller separate in a situation, it goes much smoother, okay? So if you have any other questions or concerns or thoughts, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories as to when another party's been present. I mean, the same thing goes, right? When you're trying to show a house or you're looking at a house as a buyer and there's another buyer in the room, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Your motivations might get spilled and things just are not as easy as they could have been. So that's why as an agent, I always recommend not having overlapping showings. I want everybody to feel comfortable to take their time so they can put their best foot forward when it comes to making an offer. This is Jason Dowdy with Biker Realtors Tower Properties. I look forward to opening your door to bigger dreams in the near future. Give me a call, give me a text, anytime. I look forward to talking to you.